And what you're seeing now is inhumane. That's why they won't allow the press to come in. It's a horrible situation. And everyone that's seen it, nobody's seen worse. Nobody's seen anything like it. It is what they are doing now is outrageous. And they should finish the wall. Former President Trump hitting back after President Biden blamed him for the current border crisis. Biden says that he makes no apologies for rolling back Trump immigration policies. He also denied that migrants are coming to the United States because he's, quote, a nice guy. Senator Ted Cruz is leading a delegation of Republican senators there at the border today. He posted this video to Twitter early this morning. The other side of the river we have been listening to and seeing cartel members human traffickers right on the other side of the river, waving flashlights, yelling and taunting Americans, taunting the Border Patrol. Let's bring in Brandon Judd, president of the National Border Patrol Council. He will also join Republican lawmakers at the border today. He joins us by phone from Donna, Texas, where there is a facility that's overwhelmed with migrants right now. Um, Brandon, thanks for being here. Good to talk to you again. Uh, how, how's it going down there with this delegation of Republicans and what are they seeing? Well, I'm glad that they got to see what they did last night. We were the ones that took mm -hmm. them out to the border. We, we took Senator Cruz and, and the rest of the senators out to the border. We showed them where the crossings are taking place. We showed them where the smugglers were. And, and sure enough, the smugglers were so audacious that they actually came right down to the bank of the river on the Mexican side. And they were shining spotlights at us. They were shining flashlights at us. They were taunting us. They were making fun of us. They were telling us that, that we couldn't do anything um, to stop their, the, the crossings that were taking place. Um, that these people were going to come regardless. Um, you know, so they got a real world view of what we deal with on a daily basis. And now they're in the, the actual processing facility. And I, and I heard the clip of President Trump saying that nobody's ever seen anything like this. I was here in 2014. I saw what took place in 2014 in these processing facilities. Mm -hmm. I saw what happened in 2019. And I can tell you personally that what we are seeing right now is horrendous. It is absolutely um, inhumane the way these people are being packed in these facilities. It's just like sardines. There is no room to even see the floor. Um, they are packed in there so tight laying on, on, on the ground. So, so, yeah, I mean, everything that you're hearing, the, the reporting that's coming out of here by these, uh, these, these senators that actually want to know what the truth is, it's, it's all accurate, and, and, and it should be really upset the american public i hope it is anyway how, how do you how do you know that you know that the people who were taunting last night what were they taunting by by the way and you know how do you know who is are just families who are being brought across by actual smugglers how can you tell so when when we're dealing with the individuals as, as law enforcement agent myself as somebody who's been doing this for 23 years um you know when you're talking to the actual smugglers the way that they taunt you, and they were bringing down the family units as we were as we were sitting there trying to shine our spotlights, our flashlights on on them. Um, again, when they when they're when they're telling us that, and I can't speak on air exactly what they were saying because it was filled with uh, with curse words, but they were telling us where we could go mm -hmm. shove it. Um, but these were the actual smugglers. It's very clear um, who they were. These weren't the family units. Family units don't talk to us that way because they're trying to just give up because they know that they're ultimately going to get released. Right. Uh, I want to play this from the news conference yesterday. This is uh, President Biden talking about migrant, the migrant surge and saying that it's just normal what we're seeing. Watch this. Well, look, I guess I should be flattered. People are coming because I'm the nice guy. There is a significant increase in the number of people coming to the border in the winter months of January, February, March. It happens every year. The reason they're coming is that it's the time they can travel with the least likelihood of dying on the way because of the heat in the desert. Yeah, uh, the numbers tell a different story. Total encounters at the border last month, February, were up 177 percent year over year. Migrant encounters were up by about the same amount, Brandon, um, and one of the, you know, first of all, I'll answer that because he, he didn't get any pushback. No reporter said, you know, excuse me, I think only about 13 percent of the families are being sent back. And the numbers indeed are are a lot higher. No, and, that, and that's and, and I'm glad that there are so many people that are fact checking. Even liberal media outlets are fact checking him because of what he's saying is so outrageous. But I, I'm so thankful 
that there are organizations, and I'm not trying to give you kudos, but like Fox News, that is willing to get out there and tell the American public what the actual truth is. Because if we don't know what the truth is, we can't fix the problem. Define the problem yeah. so we can fix it. But when you've got a president that's getting up there and say, well, I guess I'm a nice guy, it's encouraging people to violate our laws. We can't do that. Otherwise, we, we are no better than the country. Brandon, the, let, let me ask you one, one more thing, Brandon. Trump. Before I let you yeah. go, it, this one really struck me. Yesterday, um, President Biden said some families are not going back because Mexico is refusing to take them back. Some, not all. We're in negotiations with Mexico. That's going to change. They should all be going back. So that, that seems very odd to me because, A, he said, you know, you should come. Uh, he told everyone you should come if you're facing oppression in your country. He also has undone the Remain in Mexico plan. So... That, that statement seems very confusing to me based on what he says this policy is. Yeah, completely and totally contradictory. Um, that's political rhetoric right there. Um, if he wanted to, Mexico to keep everybody there, he should have kept the remaining Mexico policy in place, but he didn't. He's the one who invited this mm. problem um, that we're currently dealing with. Yeah, got a big problem on their hands. Uh, Brandon Judd, thank you very much for being here. Good to see you today.